I'm not going to make a pommel joke. I promised I wouldn't. Jeff from Corgate Cavalier here, finally getting around to this video of the Fiore Tournament Fetter by Victor Barbecus, and I bought it from Purple Heart Armory. So uh, this is just kind of a first impressions type video uh, because I haven't used it in sparring yet or even partner work. I should be using it in some partner work and maybe sparring soon depending on when some of my other gear comes in. But my first impressions are that I really like it. Um, it moves around really well in the hand. I don't have too much too much room in the garage and between me and the camera. But uh, it moves around really well in the hand. It is a big step up from um, the wooden swords that I was using. I still love those. Um, when I go to work on the Pell in my backyard, you know, I don't want to be bashing this against uh, a metal pole necessarily to put uh, extra stress on it. So I always use my wooden swords then or if just like some muscles are tired or whatever because it's a little bit lighter. Um, okay, so that's my first that's my first general impression. It's also relatively flexible but not as whippy as some things. Like I'm not trying too too hard. I have to put some muscle into it to bend to bend it that much. So it's a, it's a little bit flexible. Um, but yeah, that's, that's those are the first general things. So let's get on to the details. Handle is black leather wrapped. You can get a cord wrapping if you prefer. The seam is pretty nice on it. The pommel is a um, Allen key secured screw-on pommel. So I can take it apart really easily. Just a quick twist and remove the lock nut. Whoops, I'll have to get that back in a second. <laughs> uh, unthread the pommel. Unthread the pommel. <laughs> it's a nice weighty pommel. And then you can take the grip off. And there we go. There's the grip piece. You can see through it a little bit. Don't know if you can, I can quite get that on camera, but you can see through it a little bit. Here is the quill on block. and the threaded tang. And it all goes back together very easily. You just slip the quillon block back in, pop the handle in, boom. Thread the pommel back on. And put that lock nut back in. And we're ready to rock. And it's a, it's a very, it's a very solid construction. I haven't felt or heard any play in the handle. Once again, I haven't really um, done any contact yet with this, um, but I will be soon. But yeah, I have not felt any play while messing around with it in the yard. Um, so yeah, it's overall it feels really nice, solid construction, and I like the design as well. So let's get into some of the finer points of the design. And some of the stats. So the total length of the Fiori Tournament Fetter is 124.5 centimeters and that's from back of the pommel to the tip and I opted for the spatulated tip in this case. There is an option for a rolled tip I believe. The blade length is 92 centimeters which is perhaps a tiny bit short for the examples uh, in the Wallace collection. The average was about eight or nine centimeters longer than that, like just over a hundred centimeters for the blade. No big deal in my opinion. The grip is 24.5 centimeters. And if you take it all the way to where the end of the pear pommel flares out, that is 31 centimeters. The, from here to here. The quillons are 28 centimeters total. 
And uh, yeah, so those are the, that's all the lengths of the blade. And the width of the blade at the Quillon block is 4.1 centimeters. About halfway up, it is 2.5 centimeters. And right before it spatulates out, we've got that we've got one centimeter. So it does taper quite a bit. Um, and the weight is 1.42 kilograms, which is on the lighter side for the long swords in the Wallace collection, but is within the range. Um, the average was about 0.3 kg higher than this one. And the point of balance is about 8.5 centimeters from the guard block. I hate doing this on camera. There we go. So the balance is pretty close to the hands, actually. Um, average look, they only had a few point of balance uh, in the statistics in the Wallace collection. And it was usually somewhere around 10 centimeters from the guard block, somewhere eight and a half ish like this, or a little bit shorter on some one handed swords. Um, so, okay, that's all of the stats. The Quillon, the cross guard, I believe, is a uh, Okashot Type 1, just straight cross guard, and this is a pear shaped pommel. Honestly, I kind of forget what uh, Okashot number that is, but uh, I like the pear shaped pommel. It's really comfortable in hand if you want to interact with it. Sometimes I find myself interacting with it, sometimes I find myself not interacting with it, no big deal. There is a shallow fuller about halfway up the blade, and as I said before, it tapers pretty dramatically. So I'm, I believe this would uh, qualify as a Type 17 Okashot blade, um, which is perfect for the Fiori that I mostly do. It looks a lot like the swords that you see in the manuscript. Uh, yeah, so overall, really like it. It moves around well. Uh, my instructor had one qualm with it, and that is he felt like the grip was a little bit too wide up here, I think. Um, but he said, not a big deal, just personal preference. I agree with that. Like, if you if you don't like that wide of a hilt, then you might not like that. But I don't find it bad at all. And, I, and to me, it kind of helps find the edge alignment a little bit easier. So I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. So yeah, I'm very pleased with this purchase. Um, even though it's kind of a lot of money, uh, it's a lot cheaper than a lot of the other quality fetters out there. And as far as I understand, it is fully terminate legal. The uh, edge is broad enough and there's enough flex, etc., etc. Cool. So, yes, I would recommend this. I love it. It is my first fetter. Haven't done any sparring with it. I will update when I get around to doing that. I also bought the uh, care kit. Now, you, you definitely don't necessarily need this exact care kit, but I have a problem losing little things. Um, I'm not always the most organized with little stuff like this, so... Actually, the Allen key comes with the sword, but it uh, comes with uh, just a nice... Kind of like micro microfiber cleaning cloth. Has the Purple Heart logo on it, of course just as the back does. Uh, comes with a scotch right bat. Of course, you can get this anywhere. Ballastol, this stuff has worked great so far. And a little file for taking little nicks and stuff out of the blade, which I haven't had to use yet. Um, however, I have already used this cleaning kit a couple of times because as you saw in my snowy sword video, go ahead and watch it, it's kind of fun. Um, I was practicing in the snow and they're, you know, got a couple of tarnished spots on it, but I dealt with it right away and they came off super easily. And also uh, one day during class, we, we practiced outside because of COVID and um, there was, it was snowing during one day of class too. So I had to clean it after that class and it's worked tremendously so far. It's kept my sword in great shape. So if this is something you're interested in, I, I would recommend this as well. Or you can just kind of buy the components yourself, something to care for your sword. All right, cool. I hope you guys like this review. Um, I know it had been a long time coming. Um, but yes, I would recommend the Fiori Tournament Fetter. I really like it so far. It has increased my enjoyment of practicing, honestly. And uh, yeah, if, the, if you do Fiori and you're looking for a, even if you don't, I, I, you know, you don't have to do Fiori to use this sword, but if you're looking for a cost-effective fetter, uh, this is it, I think.
in my opinion, at, at least it's a good one. All right, thanks for coming around. As always, guys, please click like, please subscribe, please share this with others if you think that they might find it interesting. And uh, yeah, once again, thanks for coming around. Take care, be good to each other. See ya.